Holiday parties, Christmas parades, large public gatherings, all could be the target of violence or even terrorism, according to the FBI. The federal agency issuing that warning through New Year's Eve to people across the nation. Tark Miners joining us now after speaking with a former FBI agent about what it means for Jacksonville and our region. You know, former FBI agent Tony Kravitz tells News for Jax one of the agency's biggest challenges and concerns is stopping a lone offender. She points out that when FBI agents issue warnings to the public, they're also pleading for the public's help. When they put these bulletins out, it really is a call to action. They are asking for the public's help. They are trying to raise awareness. They are asking you to report. Former FBI agent Tony Crabbit, who now works for the Risk Confidence Group, says federal authorities have the intelligence to back their latest warning to the United States, citing heightened tensions related to the conflict between Israel and Hamas, which in turn likely heightens the threat of lone actor violence targeting large public gatherings throughout the winter, including holiday-related, faith-based, New Year's Eve, and First Amendment-protected events. The FBI and Department of Homeland Security issued two similar warnings in October, urging the public to be calm but vigilant for possible attacks against Jewish, Christian, Muslims, or Arab people. Kravitz says lone actor violence is the most difficult to prevent. It's a needle in a haystack. And a lone offender could be somebody that is in their home, not talking to anyone else, not posting anything, um, and, and they decide to act. You, you, can, you can imagine how difficult that is to, um, to detect. In addition to more threats, FBI agents say they've also noted an increase in hoax bomb threats and active shooter threats targeting synagogues. Here are some of the most common examples of suspicious activities or behavior which should prompt you to report it. Multiple sightings of the same suspicious person, vehicle, or activity. Vehicles are people who look out of place, like a person at a Christmas parade who has no interest in the event. Individuals who appear to be overdressed for the type of weather. And boxes, bags, or packages that look out of place. FBI Director Christopher Ray says the U.S. is facing the highest risk of attack in years, adding that threats received to the U.S. have reached a whole other level since the Israel-Hamas war began October 7th. I think that the, um, the FBI and the intelligence partners, both in the United States and foreign partners, are sharing intelligence. According to the FBI, groups like Al-Qaeda and ISIS could also use the Israel-Hamas war to increase calls for violence in the U.S. this holiday season. The FBI Director Christopher Wray also said that terrorists may try to exploit the U.S. southern border. Kent? Thank you, Tark.